Hello, my name is John Chapman. Um, I'm a consultant paediatrician, and I'd like to do this short presentation to tell you why your baby has not got lactose intolerance. Lots of children will be diagnosed with lactose intolerance, and I'll explain to you why I think they have a different diagnosis. I'm going to start by explaining what lactose intolerance is, and for that we need to talk about what lactose is. Lactose is the sugar found in milk, and the human gut cannot absorb lactose. What the gut has to do is it has to break the lactose down into smaller sugar molecules that the body can absorb. It does this using an enzyme called lactase. Lactase is found in the small intestine, just after the stomach, and this is where the lactose is broken down. It's broken down and then it's absorbed in the same area. Any lactose that isn't broken down carries on its journey down the gut. And these are the symptoms of lactose intolerance. And lactose intolerance is a disease that presents with very loose stools, watery diarrhea, abdominal pain, bloating, nausea, and this occurs after taking milk or other lactose containing food substance, usually within 30, 60 or 120 minutes. Lactose intolerance does not include vomiting, does not cause eczema, does not involve urticarial rashes, does not cause anaphylaxis and does not happen with any food other than milk. Lactose intolerance is all about fermentation. The lactose sugar moves through the gut and leaves the small intestine and moves into the large intestine or colon. The colon is full of microorganisms, bacteria and yeasts and they love sugar. When they get their hands on lactose sugar they can break it down and they break it down not into smaller sugars but into acid breakdown products and gas. Um, so they produce a lot of very watery acid diarrhea with lots and lots of gas. This diarrhea is then propelled through the large intestine very quickly and comes out the bottom as a frothy explosive watery diarrhea. We use bacterial fermentation of lactose to make cheese um, and yogurts. Um, the bacteria break down the lactose to produce lactic acid. Anyone who's done any home brewing will recognize what happens when microorganisms get hold of sugar and they produce a lot of carbon dioxide gas. So, um, why would you have lactose intolerance? You would have lactose intolerance because you don't have enough lactase enzyme. So you are lactase deficient. So what causes lactase deficiency? Well, some people are born without any lactase enzyme and some people lose their lactase enzyme when they get older. People who have never had a lactase enzyme in their gut are said to have congenital lactase deficiency. More people in the world have primary lactase deficiency and this is a normal process in most humans it's only really Caucasian races who hold on to the lactase enzyme. So the vast majority of the world, when they reach the age of three onwards, start a decline in the lactase enzyme in the gut, which eventually means that these people cannot tolerate significant amounts of milk. There are other reasons why you would lose your lactase enzyme, because you've had some kind of gut damage, or you've had gut surgery, and we would call this secondary lactase deficiency. I'll talk more about these. Congenital lactase deficiency obviously happens at birth and occurs in babies. It's actually a very rare genetic illness and it presents immediately after birth as a life-threatening diarrhea and dehydration. And it is extremely rare in the UK infant population I've never seen a case of congenital lactase deficiency. It's more commonly seen in northern Scandinavia, Latvia and 
Russian ethnic background populations. So again, this is extremely rare in the UK and it's extremely unlikely that this is what your baby has. If we then look at primary lactase deficiency, and this is a normal process of a slow decline in lactase enzyme in most people in the world. You will see from the figures on this slide that up to 100% of Asians and Native Americans will lose their lactase enzyme and this is a normal process. Europeans um, and particularly Northern Europeans tend to hold on to the lactase enzyme for life. It's inherited from both parents um, and as I say if you are native UK Caucasian this is an incredibly unlikely thing to happen to your baby. If this did happen to your baby it would only happen after the age of two to three years because all mammals are designed to digest lactose. So all mammals will keep their lactase enzyme for at least two or three years. It, if it does present, it presents, re presents very slowly and subtly over months and years. It does not present acutely. And obviously um, you would have to be in one of the high risk groups to have this problem. So um, it's very unlikely that this is the problem with your baby. Finally, if we have a look at secondary lactase deficiency, um, you can have this through an operation on your gut if you have your small intestine removed. You can have it after a bad bout of gastroenteritis and this is a very common diagnosis for children in the UK to get but actually um, it's probably a misdiagnosis. You have to have an incredibly bad bout of gastroenteritis going on for more than 14 days to get this kind of problem. It doesn't happen after a two or three day bout of diarrhea and vomiting. Other patients can get damage to their gut. If you have celiac disease, you can have inflammation in your small intestine, which also damages the lactase enzyme. So in babies under a year who are taking wheat, who have symptoms suggestive of lactose intolerance, such as frothy diarrhea, we should consider a diagnosis of celiac disease. But also a much more common condition that can cause inflammation in the small intestine is cow's milk protein allergy. Children who have cow's milk protein allergy get inflammation in their gut and they damage their lactase enzyme. So they become cow's milk protein allergic and secondarily lactose intolerant. You can treat this by treating the cow's milk protein allergy rather than the lactose intolerance. So, to summarise, all forms of lactase deficiency are rare in the UK. You might want to ask yourself why, when you walk down the aisles in the supermarket, you see lots and lots of lactose-free milk. The commonest cause in the UK of lactose intolerance is cow's milk protein allergy. So if your baby has problems with milk and diarrhoea, then it's more likely to be cow's milk protein allergic particularly if it has other signs such as eczema or vomiting. So if we've got to the end of the slide and you're still wondering whether your baby has lactose intolerance, you need to follow the questions. You know, are you Northern Scandinavian, Latvian or Russian? If you're not, it's unlikely you have congenital lactase deficiency. Is your child under the age of two years? In which case they probably don't have primary lactase deficiency. And actually, it's most likely that your child has cow's milk protein allergy. But you do need to consider that there may be celiac disease if they're taking significant amounts of wheat. Thank you for listening.